Hello, and welcome back to Final Fantasy IV Pixel Remastered. Last time, we, uh... had our first dungeon, our first boss, and we destroyed an entire village. After killing a woman's... Uh, after killing a little girl's mother. And then we abducted that little girl. And she is now our new party member, Rydia. So, first things first, let's get ready a couple levels. Because she could use it. And hey, another new enemy. Ooh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And let's try. Okay. Big damage, big damage. And uh, Rydia learned Blizzard and Cure. Jumped up two levels in one battle. Not bad at all. So. HP up, MP up. Everything but strength up. And, uh, yeah, so that's something that's worth mentioning. Just keeping her, uh, all um, heal suit refresh her, uh, MP. So, yeah. For the first time in the franchise, spells are earned naturally. So rather than having to buy spells at shops, uh, just as you level up, characters will learn magic based on their class. So here, wizard. And let's get her another, uh, let's get her up to level 5, and then I'll, uh, continue on. This is Kaipo, the desert oasis of Damascene. I heard some damsel from Barum was being passed out on the outskirts of Camel. She was taken to someone's house to recover. Huh. Fair enough, we just came from Barum. Interesting. If you are going to travel with that little girl, I recommend moving her to the back row. Yes, you do want, uh, Freddy in the back row. She will take less damage than you. The water cavern is to the northeast, but it's dangerous. There have been sightings of eight water serpents recently. I'm sure that's not something we will need to worry about. Anna fell deeply in love with someone, but she left Kaipo because Sage to help her. Naming way again, in case you want to change Rydia's name. Here. Could probably sell Kane's equipment for some extra gill, but. I want to go to Damsey and to become a dancer. But the water cavern is filled with monsters. I've been practicing them. Check out these moves. Yep. Nice legs.
every town, uh, just about every town has an answer. Not actually sure if resting up uh, recovers the uh, her vision. Doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. She's blind. Even if she hits, she'll take the damage. It does. Wasn't sure if it would fix the, uh, the blindness. The castle up north is Damsian Castle, which rules over this entire desert. I hear the Prince of Damsian is a delicate beauty with an exquisite voice. Sounds like someone I wouldn't mind meeting. Use the power to detoxify, cast poison zone when he's about. I apologize for that comment there. Come on, Bow. Bows are effective from the uh, back row, but. I don't feel like it's worthwhile giving her one. This is not the kind of thing. Yeah, 160 guild, and it just gives unlimited antidotes, basically. Don't think there's too many enemies that do poison right around right now. I'm gonna pick it up. I'm not going to equip it on. Just gonna have it uh, handy. in here. We found a girl from Baron lying unconscious just outside of town. Hmm. Probably no one we know. Probably just some town girl who happened to be, uh, to be on her way. The poor thing's come down with desert fever. Oh, that's bad. She just keeps muttering the name Cecil over and over. A different Cecil. Yeah, it's just, it's a coincidence. Different Cecil. It's it's not anyone that we know. Rosa! Yes, obviously it's Rosa. Rosa. Cecil. Cecil, don't die on me. I'm, uh, I'm okay. I'm, I'm, I'm right here. I'm, I'm fine. questions of how she got here. Like, was she following us? Minor plot. To cure desert fever, we need a rare jewel called the Sand Ruby, found only in a cave where an ant lion dwells. Well, that's inconvenient. Sand Ruby, the cure for desert fever. And yeah, obviously the uh, theme of love again in there. It's basically Rose's theme. Right. So I want to get one more level for uh, for Rydia. That's not. Don't kill her. Don't you dare kill her, you bastards. Thank you. She's coming along nicely. Mm -hmm. 
trying to decide if I should get another level. Yeah, hell with it. One more level before I continue on. Why not? To get there, we need to go through a cavern, which is apparently being blocked off by some old dude. The cavern is up here, naturally. And new enemies, Vile Shell and Water Bug. Bugs can heal themselves, which is uh, actually kind of convenient. They can heal other things as well. There we go. Regular hold and got another level. Water bugs are one of the more annoying enemies in this cavern, honestly, just because. It's hard to deal with, like, because they can heal themselves back up with the health. So you need to do a lot of damage fairly quickly, and it can be hard to do the damage before they heal. Potion. Maiden's Kiss. Killer Fish. Five HP they've got. There we go. Yeah, Six to nine, nice. Come on. Good for now. And yeah, Radia cannot attack. More killer fish. Another level for Rydia with Sleep now. and rescue my daughter. She was deceived by a wicked bar. Is there any other kind? The bar all. Also, yeah, who wants their, who wants their daughter marrying a musician? <laughs> we must hurry, for I sent an ill omen. You must be Sage Della. Indeed I am. That girl, she is a summoner. Perfect. She can help too. 
A giant monster lurks in the lake ahead. The devil even withstands magic. We can defeat it if we work together, and then I can finally be on my way. We need to reach dancing as well. Then let us make haste. Sage Kella has joined the party. Level 20 to reflect that he's been around for a while. He is a sage, he is experienced. He's 60 years old. Yeah, 340 HP, 90 MP, so. And uh, yeah, White, he's got Confused, Blink, Cura, Esuna. He's very good. Fusion. Fusion is a self trick enemy, Raise Invasion. Huron, so just regular here. Estima. All satisfacts. Life provided some targets. Teleport. Get out of the dungeon. And yeah, fire. Blizzard. Thunder. Stop. Osmos. Observes MP. That one's good. Right hand. It's only slightly higher intellect than Rydia. Significantly higher spirit. Physical stats are low. Tent. Uh, so you will be somewhat useful. Does do a really high. Starts with the, the staff or poison. This room seems finished. It's not. Another level for Ridian. Unlikely to get a level up Tella in this place. Potion. I believe that cures all HP, like restores HP to full, no matter how much HP you have. So later on, that will be exceptionally useful. Dry Aether, uh, that replenishes more MP, uh, more MP than regular Aether. So again, later on, that will be useful. Phoenix down. We'll see how useful that ends up being. Giganto! They don't, they're not too dangerous. They can cast both. Against uh, 
This is another episode that I'm uh, recording for the second time. The vial shell and water bug fight gets so, so tedious. You're gonna be having that fight kind of a lot. Diet food. Here's an ally of the pig stats. Huh. Meat? Potion? Sure. Another level for Rydia. Nice boost to HP and MP. And intellect is almost... Almost even with, uh, Tella. And she won't poison. Yeah, this place has uh, 18 chests, so lots of chests in this place. Ether? Gigantos! I do like fighting Gigantos. Especially because they're a good way for television. Is empty. Ah, now they're just. Now they're just cute looking. They're just really cute looking. Nice, nice. Always nice when Toad misses. Alright, and here is something new with this game that is very much appreciated. We'll rest here. This magic field repels all monsters. You can save and use a tent or cottage in here. Let's use my tent to rest and prepare for the upcoming battle. Rest spots in dungeons. The girl was asleep already. She must have been exhausted. Who is she? A summoner from the village of Mist. She holds great potential. With proper training, she'll be able to master many spells. Look at her. So sweet and innocent. She reminds me of Anna at that age. Who is Anna? My daughter. She eloped with a bard to Damsian because I didn't consent to their union. And why would he? No, no father wants his daughter to marry a musician. <laughs> Tell me, what business have you in Damsian? A friend of mine has been struck down by desert fever. Ah, so you seek the sand ruby. It won't be easy to obtain. But first, there's the small matter of a vicious monster that needs taken care of. A frightful creature it is, with eight enormous tentacles. We must kill it and reach Damsey before it is too late. Too late for what? I don't know. I only pray my instincts are wrong. Ominous. All set. A magical field allows the use of tents and cottages in this area. You can also save your progress. So, yes. <laughs> Something that some people, some people aren't a fan of, or were at least some people at the time weren't really a fan of. Uh, a lot of people did very much appreciate. Because I mentioned uh, when I was playing at the end of Final Fantasy III, that final dungeon, you have no nowhere to recover your health in the original game. So in the original game, essentially from the time you enter the maze until the final boss, that's it. There's nowhere to rest and recover which is 
They're ridiculous considering what a gauntlet it is. Especially because you don't have any... There's no ethers either. So the uh, elixirs are the only way to recover your MP. So yeah, it's a really, really, really difficult uh, section of the original game. Hard enough that even the developers hate it. So with uh, 4, they decided, you know what? Let's add mid-dungeon quest points. Well, I mean, they're not necessarily in the middle of the dungeon, but yeah, they're, they're in the dungeon. So let, let's add rest points in the dungeons. And, uh, yeah, definitely love it. Continue on. Ice Rod! I'll give it to her because she has the lowest MP and she has no way of replenishing her MP. Uh, Rod infused with power of ice, cast blizzard, and used metal. It's actually not going to be terribly useful. So it's Exceptionally weak for a shield blizzard. I'll show it here. I'm gonna make this be the uh, enemy from targeting aren't particularly weak to it. That's it. So same as uh, S. Okay, Gigantoots. And yeah, uh, Cecil got booted. Like, I almost don't even care enough to spend the MP for the healer. 580 heal. More Gigantobes. Alright, there's a reason to heal it. This one is a bomb fragment, so obviously attack item. Sahagans and tiny mages. Ooh. That's inconvenient because that's since that's the one that's the good magic attack. Please. All 
right, these guys are no joke. Tiny mages are no joke. So of course I keep getting... Yeah, at least get the, uh, friggin' sub out of the way. Did not get the Sahagans out of for a feathered cat. Don't give to her. She has lost uh, HP, so... Luckily, not too much more left of uh, this portion of the dungeon. 
and then I'll be outside and I can rest. I like that little view for like stuff outside. Cobra! Another new enemy! Too terribly uh, dangerous. Aside from being able to cast code. But Gigantos can cast code as well, so. issue with this is there's no one Cecil's the only pistol attack which is deeply inconvenient I do prefer to try to save my ethers if I can't. Uh, I'm gonna have to use the first soon, I think. Yeah, let's try this one. Ah, oh, son of a Oh, ah. oh, and there's just so many of the uh, the Hoggins in this fight, and it gets irritating. So, uh, my first time playing through this dungeon, I did not see the tiny mages at all. Not once. Yeah, this time, you get nothing but tiny mages. It's just, it's weird. Another new enemy, uh, Alligator. Alright, 
nice bit of uh, now I can get uh and Pella up to moderate health again. That should last me until I actually make it out of this. Hourglass Shadow Blade! Dark sword with a sharpened blade. An extra ten, eight, uh, an extra ten attack. And another new enemy, Red Moose. And yeah, Red Mooses are basically immune to uh, physical attacks. I thought fire. For some reason, I thought red would mean that they would be resistant to fire. This we leaped outside. The monster lies in the cave beyond. Use a tent outside if you must. I do believe that I must. I'm sure I fought the hunt legs, right? So I've actually fought more enemies, uh... I've actually encountered enemies here that I did not encounter the first time. Uh, only one enemy left to encounter. First things first. Let's use a tent. Much better. And yeah, so second half of the uh, game we will handle next time. Back to uh, full. Uh, we're full health, full MP. Next time we will uh, continue on and fight the which, from Tella's description, sounds like it might be some sort of octopus. One would think. Or perhaps a Kraken? Could be a Kraken. Classic Final Fantasy enemy, right? We'll see. Um, for now, we've got a uh, Halfway through this uh, little run, we've done through the first part of the uh, water water cap. Next time we'll talk the second half, so I hope you will join me for that. And thank you for watching.